Hello guys, my name is Adha Agarwal. I'm a psychology student and today we have two mental health professionals with us working at Neuropedia. Ms. Akriti Mahindra is a clinical psychologist and Dr. Tolika Shukla is a psychiatrist. Both of them specialize in treating children and adolescents who go through various mental health issues in their life. So before we delve into the main topic today, for the benefit of our audience, can you tell us what is the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist? What role do they play in the clinic and how do they differ? So with Dr. Tolika, we can start. Well, so a psychiatrist is basically a mental health professional with a medical background. They pursue an MBBS, following which they do a post-graduation in psychiatry. Uh, during that time, they are specifically trained in diagnosing and treating various mental health issues. So in simple words, they take care of the medical aspect of things like investigations, scans, blood tests, and making a diagnosis and making a treatment plan. Uh, and what medications the person would be needing. So we take care of those parts. A psychologist has a very important role in the field of mental health. Uh, we help and support individuals in understanding their stress level, their emotions, their behavior, their thought. We sit down with them, we understand them, we listen to them and you know create a plan for them in terms of understanding uh, what are the difficulties they are dealing with. Uh, we generally do that with the talk therapy, what we call it as a psychotherapy. Um, along with that, we do certain psychological assessment which help them to, which help us to understand the uh, underlying factors which can be a social emotional factors or it can be a cognitive difficulty or an academic difficulty. So we help them to see the underlying factors involved in their difficulties. So we have gathered today here to talk about the main topic that is adolescents mental health. So before we delve deep into the topic, can you tell us why it's very important and why is there so much focus on adolescents mental health? Dr. Zuleka? So um, firstly, if you look at the WHO data uh, on adolescents, uh, the global burden of disease for depression and anxiety in this age group is very high. Around 20% of adolescents will go through some mental health issue or the other. And these numbers have increased over the past few years, and especially post-COVID, the numbers have jumped up quite a bit. So the whole idea here is to destigmatize seeking help, whether it is for medication, whether it is for therapy. You're not alone and you're not weak if you're going through mental health challenges. I think that's the most important reason why we need to explain it to the families mm -hmm. and to the adolescents that it's completely OK to seek help. So uh, in today's world, in a competitive world, we see a lot of adolescents having academic stress because there is a competition in terms of getting to college admissions. The job seeking area has really increased because the, there are a lot of upcoming fields have come in the market and you know, uh, adolescents are confused what field they should choose because the competition have increased a lot. And along with that, we ca I can see that uh, there are a lot of social media effect on the adolescents nowadays. So there are there are time when the adolescents are coming and complaining about being stressed because they're not able to perform uh, the way they should be on the way of content they need to provide in the Instagram. So there are a lot of peer pressure. There are a lot of uh, stress in terms of uh, you know, being in the market, uh, show them their acceptance. So as long as uh, social media is there, uh, we can see a lot of positive effect and the negative effects. So in terms of positive effect, we can see that, uh, you know, adolescents are able to express themselves very uh, finely. They are coming up with the uh, symptoms like they're feeling depressed and they're feeling anxious, although they are Maybe they are not, but uh, they still have their own expression on terms of self-expression, what we call. And um, but in terms of the negative impact, I can say that a uh, lot of cyberbullying is happening. A lot of self-image issues are coming. So, you know, adolescents need to understand that they need to have a balance between the social media and offline activity, what they are doing in terms of having a good mental health um, of their own. So keeping the concerns and the factors you've mentioned right now, can you tell us what are the common factors and the common concerns you see in adolescents and children who come to your clinic? Well, so I would say the most common disorders for which we see uh, adolescents are anxiety issues, social anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorders, then depression is quite common. Mm -hmm. uh, along with that, eating disorders is another group of disorders that we see. A lot of adolescents, when they reach higher classes, they realize that they're having a lot of focus difficulties, so ADHD. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the common concerns with, that we see in our OPD. 
a lot of common concerns what we see like dr tarika said about anxiety and depression i see a lot of children coming up with self image issue body image issue uh, peer pressure in terms of attending parties in terms of going out together um, i see a lot of uh, social media and gaming uh, addiction. addiction coming up and uh, the the most important thing is that the adolescents are not able to cope up with the stress they have all together and i feel that the lot of pressure comes up on the admissions as well in terms of college admissions like i said before see the family pressure is there and understanding of the families together are are not able to define easily because uh, parents are busy children are busy in their tuitions in extra classes in their extra curriculum so the family time what they need to get are not been on place so there is a lack of communication between the families together so i feel that uh, the the most important difficulties nowadays the adolescents are facing is the time management the stress level they have they don't know how to cope so we are there in the clinic where we help them to strategize and support and cope with their stresses so we manage their stress so now we're going to talk about treatment so how does treatment differ when we compare adults to adolescents can you please elaborate Well uh, I think the most important thing is we can never see an adolescent in isolation so we have to look at who are the people taking care of the adolescent and they have to be involved in the treatment medically speaking like in terms of medication we follow something called as start low and go slow so we uh, monitor the side effects much more closely because they are younger um parents are like you know quite anxious when we discuss the option of medications but I think what they need to understand is that timely uh, medications can actually help the child a lot like for example they have exams in 3 months and the child is having a lot of anxiety which is affecting their studies timely starting medications might help them cope a lot better so my whole point is that don't be scared of medications the professionals are more worried about the effects and the side effects and they are here to communicate with you everything that might be worrying you so be open to the idea of medications i think that's what is important So the main point where uh, we differentiate between adult and adolescent in terms of treatment is that uh, with adolescents we take a holistic approach we take a multidisciplinary approach where we deal with the families we deal with the school we we include the school we include the inclusion we include the counselors of the school where everybody whoever is involved in terms of adolescents uh, care you know so we have we approach everybody so that how we can sit together and make a plan in terms of creating a strategically plans where because the child is in the school child is in the house child is in with his friends so we sometime involve the friends also so we do family therapy we do a lot of uh, group therapy because if the two relationship uh, if there is a relationship difficulty and we have two friends involved so we definitely call the friend as well and we create a a, a you know a situation where they deal with their difficulties in front of me and we help them to plan the strategies yes so very uh, well put by uh, akriti that we need a multidisciplinary approach when it comes to adolescents and that's why what we are doing at neuropedia is that we are organizing our efforts into something called as an adolescent clinic where we will have a planned workflow so the person or the adolescent will first meet the psychiatrist for a one hour session where they'll talk about their issues and if needed there'll be a separate one hour session with the parents to understand their difficulties in helping their uh, child and uh, following that a diagnosis would be formulated a treatment plan would be formulated and uh, there will be uh, a very focused referral to the other professional with very specific goals in mind and then once the patient goes to the psychologist to the clinical psychologist they would start with their work Yeah, so the, my role will be there in terms of understanding the psychosocial factors involved in the difficulties. Like I said, we involve family, we involve friends, we involve anybody who is taking care of the adolescent's health. Uh, also, sometimes we do take up uh, these sessions with the teachers in terms of understanding the peers, uh, relationship in the school, understanding the academic difficulties, cognitive difficulties, because we need to understand that if there is any situation that involves a lot of factors. in terms of that uh, issues that yeah. concerns because there is a, always a root cause of the behavior yeah. so to understand that root cause we need to have a in depth session with everybody yeah. it's not every time we involve but sometime it is important for us to involve everybody around yeah. and that uh, that help us to create a 
treatment plan that help us to create an intervention plan uh, because as we take these sessions with the child we understand what is his coping strategies what is uh, what are the child's strength and weaknesses and we work together in terms of how to cope up with the different situations right and in fact we also have an option of joint sessions where the psychiatrist and psychologist both can take the session with the child and the parent you know sometimes when we are in a very challenging situation and we need more than one professional to be there to communicate what we are trying to achieve we can even plan joint sessions so let's move on to the different therapy techniques that are used in the clinic so obviously there are specific therapy techniques that are indicated for a particular case correct right. so can you shed some light on the different techniques that are used in the clinic so we'll start with ms akriti so in the clinic i use a lot of psychotherapeutic techniques such as cbt principles uh, what we generally call it as cognitive behavior therapy uh, which works on the automatic thoughts and the core beliefs of the individual i do use solution focused uh, therapy which in goals in working of the strength of the children um i use lot of acceptance and uh, commitment therapy techniques which help in understanding and accepting the situation and then work towards it i also do family therapy which involves the understanding of the family and psychoeducating the family how to deal with the situation uh, i also sometime need to do marital therapy because uh, we all are individual we all are different in our own ways our parenting skills are different sometimes the uh, non compliance behavior cause lot of difficulties in the individuals in a relationship and i see when the when the parents are fighting for a situation the uh, adolescents feel it more stressful because they feel that it is because of me right. so we deal with lot of um, difficult situations where we need to involve different principles of different therapies but it all depends on the individual needs So thank you so much it was a very informative session and I hope uh, the knowledge that you've spread through a lot of adolescents and teenagers can relate to it uh, if you have any concerns regarding your teenagers or children if they're going through any mental health issue we here at Neuropedia can be your guide and thank you so much it gives me thank immense you. pleasure to have a conversation with you thank, thank you. you and thank take you. care